I am Teacher Briggs, and I'm going to help you talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. <laughs> Now, guys, number three, how to understand different accents. Uh, one, one suggestion I give my students, one thing that I do uh, myself is to watch vloggers, okay? I don't know if this is the name. There are so many names nowadays. You can watch vloggers. You can watch uh, social media influencers. Tell me, what is, uh, excuse me, who is your favorite social media influencer? Uh, let me know. Okay. So I see some students like ABC News, others like BBC, others like CNN. That's great. These are great options. You have to filter the news at the end of the, of the day. So tell me here, who is your favorite media influencer? All right. Uh, do you mean I should focus on a specific vocabulary? No, you should focus on a particular subject. Let's say you're going to study, Hisham, let's say you're going to study music this week, the example I gave. Okay, then you are going to choose the subject. For example, I chose the benefits of listening to music, the benefits of music for young, for adults and old people. Based on that, what I read and what I listened already gave me a lot of the vocabulary that I needed to study because I'm not going to understand the article if I don't study the vocabulary. Consequently, I'm not going to study, I'm not going to understand the audio if I don't study the vocabulary. So, this is something that you're going to, to need to do, okay? Okay, some people like VOA, BBC News, CNN. Well, these are the most popular ones, okay. Irina likes Oprah, all right. Uh, Ruben likes Saturday Night Live. That is not a TV news, that's a talk show that's different. A uh, talk show can be used differently. There are good ways to use talk shows, but I'm focusing on TV news, but talk shows are great too. Now, guys, how to understand favorite uh, different accents. And here, Irina said her favorite influencer is Oprah. That's great. So I strongly recommend you find uh, people from the countries you have trouble understanding. For example, maybe you don't understand British people so much. So how about finding a social media influencer, not a teacher, I'm not talking about teacher. You're going to find a, a, an influencer, a vlogger, uh, an Instagram profile where this person talks. Maybe a YouTube video, uh, excuse me, a YouTube channel of a social media influencer, not a teacher. Okay, not talking about teacher at this moment. Okay, you're going to find someone and you're going to follow that person. I will follow you. <laughs> uh, students usually struggle with British accent, American accent, depending on the place, like someone from Texas, for example, or Tennessee. Uh, may be difficult for students to understand Irish, Scottish. So find people from these places and follow them. Uh, but teacher, I don't like Scottish English. So don't follow people, okay? If you want to understand uh, British English more easily, then follow someone from the UK. If you want to understand someone more, uh, from Texas, from, from Texas, you know, Texan English, the Texan accent. So try to find people from those places, but not teachers. I don't recommend following teachers, okay? Influencer, someone that influences people, okay? I go on the internet, I talk about things, and I make you... Think about them too. That is what a social media influencer is. Uh, that's what they usually do, okay? Very well. Tony Robbins, that is great. Uh, this is definitely someone you should all follow because he's amazing. Now, think of something you are curious to learn more about. So let's say, for example, I love... Um, I really like YouTube, okay, but not the way you 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 think. Uh, I like I like learning about strategies on YouTube, how to use YouTube, how to improve video quality. So what I do is I follow a lot of YouTubers who talk about YouTube, and they do that in English. I don't follow I don't usually follow people from Brazil that talk about that. So I follow them, and they share a lot of everyday lifestyle. 
in English. So I am practicing my English, my listening, and I listen to different accents because I follow people from different places, okay? So this is one strategy that you can implement. So what are you interested in? So, for example, Antonio said, I like Tony Robbins. Okay, so you are interested in personal development. There are many people that talk about that in England. Amazing people that talk about that in England. So, you should find someone that talks about that in England, someone who is British. That way, you will be, you will be working on your listening comprehension and better understanding accent, the British accent. So, you see, it's about connecting with the people, uh, with the subject that you're interested in, okay? Moving on. This is something that I do a lot with my BSA. We, we have a Facebook group and there I give them challenges every month, okay? They have different challenges. They have listening challenges, they have vocabulary, grammar, phrasal verbs, reading challenges, and they all involve speaking. So they always have to speak in these challenges. And I think two months ago or three months ago, I gave them a listening challenge, but it was a little bit different. I gave them a Hollywood interview challenge. They were short is extracts from interviews with people from Hollywood, maybe not necessarily Hollywood per se, but from the UK, you know, some people from, were from the UK, and I asked them some questions, I tested their knowledge, uh, uh, it's not only about, oh, listen to this interview, yay, have fun, no, there was exercise to be done, okay, so uh, uh, here there was a student, Hubia, who is a BSA, and then she shared, teacher, I like this practice a lot. After hard work, hard work, she could understand the interview. I think she was talking about Emma, uh, Emma, oh, what's the name of the British girl? Emma Stone or Emma Watson? I think it's Emma Watson. That's, I, I think that's the British one, the Harry Potter one, you know? And then she was like, oh, uh, uh, I feel proud of myself. Step by step, I'm getting to be fluent, you know, I believe I'll become fluent. So here, she listened 10 times, but it was a short interview. That's the catch. I'm not saying you're going to listen once and that's it. You will listen a few times, but you will understand. And by doing the exercise, like in this case, I gave them the exercises they had to do. They could understand the interview. They did, uh, they followed smart work. That's what I'm trying to say here. So you can find these interviews here on the internet, you know, on YouTube. Yes, it's Emma Watson. So when you implement this shortcut, when you focus on the, 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 on improving your skills rather than simply focusing on the outcome, oh, the movie, oh, the TV show, no, 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 the work, the process, then the results change. And here the BSA, they had listen, uh, they had interviews with Leonardo DiCaprio, um, let's see, Jennifer Lawrence, uh, what uh, who else? Oh, Robert De Niro, uh, Brad Pitt, because I wanted to test their listening comprehension, listening to different accents, but a smart listening practice. That's how you improve, becoming more familiarized with different people, okay? And that's how uh, it doesn't matter uh, 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 where you're from and uh, at what level you are at this moment. If you follow this strategy, you will improve. There's no other way. Okay?